starter. Um, I want to say this uh, to college fans, and this is really any sport doesn't matter. You know, I, I actually saw um, a couple of things. And again, message boards, you know, you got to take that for what they are. I have one. I own one. And we work for one. It's it part of the umbrella of Sikkim 365. Um, message boards sometimes can be unbelievably insightful. There's a lot of people connected. They really are. There's, some of them act like they are, but there are some that are incredibly connected. And I am sick and tired of fans who want to bitch and moan about players and question their integrity or who they are as people or how loyal they might be because they decide to enter the transfer and go somewhere else. And this goes back to even the reaction to McCullough at Texas Tech or even some of the reaction to Gary Bohannon. There was actually a post, and again, I'm not going to give the person any credit because I don't want to use his name, who said something about, screw you, you leave Baylor, you're done. How many of the players on the Baylor men's basketball team that won the national championship came in from somebody else's school? How many players from last year's offensive line, defensive line, that really helped control who they were and who others were, came in from somewhere else to help them win the Big 12 championship in a Sugar Bowl? If you're one of those people, you're an idiot. You need to stick your head in the sand to keep it there. Because if you could only be a one-way street when it comes to the transfer portal, oh, great, Siaki Eek is here. Mwah! But if somebody else leaves, oh, he's a traitor. How stupid and hypocritical. And, you know, fans can be fans. That's dumb. You're dumb if you're that kind of person. Yeah, you can be hurt by it. You can think maybe, what, what's going on here? I thought you were loyal. But then you accept the next transfer the very next day, and everything's great. I don't understand it. He's also going to a place you're never going to see him. I mean, like, they're never going to play – Gary Bohannon is never going to play against Baylor unless they, in the next two years, they get way better and play each other in a bowl game. Um, so, I, you know, I, yeah, I don't understand why you would do that. Like, it it stings when a guy leaves, but, you know, there's no loyalty. There's no loyalty, and, and you a fan, and, yeah, you wear your whatever color, purple, green, red, crimson, you know, gold, whatever it might be. I don't care, black. And, and you act like you own these players. It's just dumb that you get so hot and bothered when a player decides to enter the transfer portal. I have seen a little bit of this when it comes to Matthew Meyer. And Matthew wasn't perfect. He, wasn't, he, he surely wasn't flawless. There were times he, as a, someone who covered Baylor, I'd go, what's he doing? And yet again, they may not win the national championship two years ago without him. Probably don't. And I don't, it's not your career, it's theirs. As long as the rules allow transfers, as long as the rules allow the NIL and transfers. And yeah, it's not something that I like it combined without any, as someone gets mad when I use this term, guardrails. But I don't understand how you can be so blinded by you love transfers to help whatever program, whoever program you like, and yet you then get a little bit almost demonic when somebody decides to leave the program you like. It just, to me, is just nuts. But, but I, I go by the rule of don't get attached. Don't get attached. You know what? I'm getting better at that. Don't get attached. I, I'm, I'm getting better at that. And by the way, if your school was doing – Gary Bohannon didn't leave Baylor because he was mad. He was, I'm sure, devastated, disappointed. Maybe there was a little bit of that frustration. Eh? Gary Bohannon left Baylor because he lost his starting job – it was a fair fight. He was incredible for them. And if he decides to go to USF or Oklahoma or Arizona State or Colorado or Missouri, God, I hope Gary Bohannon has a great season. I do. And uh, I have a favorite team. Paul has a favorite team. Craig has a favorite team. You have a favorite team. And there are some you go, man, what's going on here? And then you got to check yourself. It's their career hey. and not yours or mine. Smokey, uh Look, you and I have worked it together for a long time, but people are across the, the viewing audience across the country, have you ever worked with someone who you knew either because they were vocal about it or you could just tell in your office was going to be happier working somewhere else? Yes. Not that you wanted them to be fired yes. or quit yes. or anything, or it, it was, or you kind of, you got to a point, and look, we've gotten this point with uh, producers and people over the years where when they came to us and said, look, I'm going to take another job, I was never mad. I was like, oh, this is going to be, this is going to suck for a couple of weeks. But if you've re reached a point where 
it, and we're kind of dealing with here right now a little bit, uh, something you guys will find out later on, but uh, there are times when people raise to a level of, you've got to go to the next spot. We can't do anything for you anymore. You, we've done all we can for yep. you. We're, we've reached where we have as a team, and you take to the next level, and it's good. That's how I feel about the transfer portal most of the time. Now, look, if you're sitting at home and the phone rings and the, a guy from a different school says, hey, I'll give you a million dollars to leave the school right now, and you and then you call your coach and be like, hey, I need a million dollars, then that's a little bit different. But if you're in a position where, like Gary, you lost a quarterback battle in the spring, you have two years of eligibility, and – at best, right now, not, even if he won, uh, and Blake Shape would have been in the same spot, at best for the rest of the time that those two guys are there, it's a quarterback battle. Yes. And, and so one of them was going to have to leave, not because, uh, because it was not that definitive. No. Because it, it was close. So if it's that close and you feel you can start, go somewhere where you can start and play because had he decided to stay and play two more years – the next two years would have been exactly the same. Every time you slip up, the other guy comes in, you get injured for two weeks, then you're back to, should we be starting the other guy? And it, it's, it, yeah, go, yeah, go it, play. It's interesting as well, and I know it's two different scenarios, but when Gary Bohannon decided to enter the transfer portal, I think, and without a specific number, I think there were probably those who said, no, 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 we're probably more nervous about the depth at quarterback at Baylor. And who really have great respect for Gary. And he started one year. And not even a full year, but he was really I – like, I just love the kid. And, and when Charlie Brewer left, there was kind of a, a little bit of attrition, mental exhaustion. The 2020 team was so bad on offense. Charlie was – it just didn't connect. And I, you know, I, I'm one of the few that got to know him pretty well, even though a lot of people said I didn't know him enough or enough about him. And it was like, God bless, go. And then with, and a lot of it, Charlie Brewer, for, I know there were some teams that were pretty good. I don't want to go back down Charlie Brewer. I'm just using this as an example. You like pick and choose who you think is okay to transfer. It's their decision. And Charlie, of course, one or two games at Brigham, uh, at Utah, boom, he was gone. And they were really good without him. And it didn't work. And his career is basically, it's over. And with Gary Bohannon, I wish him well. Eric Galco, who's an NFL uh, draft scout guy, uh, he tweeted out something uh, about Gary Bohannon's future. And we'll try to get him on at some point this week to talk about it. And even when they leave, we still keep up with them, and we will still continue to talk about them. Here, I'm going to quote this. I'm not going to say the guy's name. I don't know this person. It's a message board comment. Baylor men don't quit. If you quit the Bears, you never really were a Bear. No love for transfers. To say otherwise insults Baylor's culture. I'll have none of that. And yet you slobbered in probably some very strange and probably awkward ways about a guy named Butler or Macy O'Teague or others, right? D don't be that guy. Stop. Don't be that person. All right, when we come back, Joey Knight.